Hey guys, we're going to do the sleeves today, and I just wanted to go over really quickly on how to ease the curve of the arm side to the sleeve. We have seen a few posts about having issues with that, so we just kind of wanted to go over that really quickly. I've already sewn together my bodice, which is my back and my front in this case, and my shoulder seam is here and has pressed to the back. Now our pattern piece for the sleeve is cut on the fold and you'll notice on the pattern piece there's a little notch that sticks out from the top of it and you will want to cut that. That just helps you identify the center of the sleeve a little bit better. So when you open it up it kind of has this little notch that you can easily line up with your shoulder seam. In this particular case I'm using the Yoho Henley and we will line up the center of the notch to the actual shoulder seam but in some of the patterns like the men's and some of the women's patterns you will notice that there are instructions to line the notch to the back of the shoulder seam so instead of directly on it we would shift it over to the back side and that is mainly because the back arm side is longer than the front arm side but since the pattern piece is cut on the fold and they're given an equal distance. If we line up that notch to the back of the shoulder seam, we're giving it just a little bit extra so that the arm size on the sleeve and on the, on the um, bodice will all line up together. So on this particular one, since like I said, it is the, the youth pattern, we're just gonna line this notch directly with the center of that shoulder seam. We'll pin that in place there. Then we're going to take each side of the sleeve and we're going to line that up with each end of the arm side and in the armpit. We'll pin those in place again on each end. So right now you only have three pins or clips in there which would be on each end of the arm side and then at center of the shoulder seam. You'll notice that right off the bat the curves don't look like they're going to match up but once you ease them together they should all line up at the seam allowance line. So we will ease together these curves on both sides and then stitch in place. I like to start easing within that first couple of inches which is Usually where it starts to dip uh, upward, downward, depending on how you're looking at it. But right as it starts to curve up, I like to grab there and ease that first section in together first. And you're not really stretching the bodice or the sleeve necessarily, but you are grabbing kind of in that middle of it and then just working those curves out together so that they line up. Then you'll take the section from where you just pinned to the shoulder seam. Same thing, they look like they don't line up. But if you grab them in the middle and kind of work them together and pull them there, then they will line up and then pin in place again. And same thing on the other side. So I like to grab them here right where it starts to curve down off that shoulder cap and ease the curve in here and then same thing you'll if you kind of pinch it and then wiggle them a little bit they will line up here then we're going to stitch this together really quick and then we'll go to the other side okay i've already sewn one sleeve but i just wanted to do this really quickly to show you um i tend to ease and sew at the same time but um, so you may some of you might find this easier than actually easing pinning and then taking it to your machine so I've already pinned at the armpit the shoulder seam and then on the other side of the arm side so ordinarily you would take these two ease them together and pin all along here but I usually only do these three and then ease as I sew. So I just kind of wanted to show you that real quick. So I'm going to take this one out just because we don't want to run that through the serger and 
with your blade on, it will mess it all up. Let's see if I can do this here. Okay. So I usually start out, again, those first couple of inches just, and then I am going to grab from my shoulder seam because this is being held in place. Same thing, I'm just going to ease those together and hold here, which normally would have been your pin on that first one, right? And then slowly as you move down, just making sure that those are easy. Now we, here's my shoulder cap. Again, my pin is in there, so you want to take that out. Then I usually come down here and hold this next section that would be eased in together. Stop, kind of do that again real quick. Making sure it's all lined up. Take out my pin at the end because I know I'm going to get there quickly and I don't want to, again, run over my blade run the blade over that pin. And there we go.